I don't know. Secrets lineups is still doesn't quite fully <laughs> come together for me. So I'm going. Crazy, isn't it? I'm going to go VPs. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, gents. Time then, ladies and gents, to raise the roof off the Barclay Card Arena for the first map in the grand final. And the wild card here is obviously low. Like they, Secret have to be scared that at any point in time, this Enchantress can just backstab their mid lane, and that will be first blood. He's currently running in there. If he has the right timing with the shard golem, he can cast a uh, one shard and then he's got, it he's got dies and splits. Oh, he ran into the tower range. Oh, that's a mistake from Lil. Yeah, they're both going to run though. in. They have the chasing after matter. mid one. There goes your first stun, second stun, instantly to follow up. Yep, so going to kill him, but that's just going to get two golems. more stuns over towards Lil as well. They keep All on right. chasing up Great the stage. hill towards <laughs> the fountain. <laughs> and well, the stage is set, and we got to have a quick look at it for a second, but this is two kills going the way of Virtus Pro. Great start. Well, the two current ones definitely have cooldown, so I don't know if he managed to use all the others, but that's a lot of damage mid lane. No yeah. one. And Solo combining up. Uh, double Shrapnel's going to be committed to this. The charge is coming in from Puppy in the back. That's going to at least stop no one from easily attacking, but it won't stop Solo from clubbing mid one down. Puppy with no mana. After his TP, he's able to TP up because Solo is in a very similar position. No stuns available. Very easy one to see for Lil. We'll dodge that out and get back safely. So Ramsey's actually laying into him here with the shard golems again as... Oh, yeah, good by Lena. Hit. Puppy and was you know charging what? towards the mid. Blocking him. Trying to help him, but yep, with one spirit to block him out. No one's got the range because he's sniper. He's always got the range. Secret are getting trashed in this mid. <laughs> he's level 5 minutes 6 on Ogre. It's the same as the two enemy supports combined. He has so much. It's actually more because of the increased required experience to level Ace. up. Ace. Timber chains up. Magic missile's going to connect. Here comes your shrapnel. They've got the clamp available too. Ace dropping very low. Oh. The assassination damage. It's not enough. So Ace makes a break for the trees. Lil and Ramsey both moving up side by side. They'll find Ace. And now they should be able to bring him down. Magic missile will be able to connect. Definitely helps too when Lil's able to pick up that early medallion solo. Level 5, that's many layers of fat to protect the ogre as he runs away from Puppy. Where's your 17%? Don't need it when that'll do the work. Puppy will find the kill. <laughs> well done. Finally, Secret got a kill on the board. They're actually only one kick gold behind in the 7 to 1, and it's mainly because of this bottom lane. Fata might see a primal. Ooh. Yeah, he's going to go for the split supports there. Solo has actually rotated down here already. As the Ogre going to look for that control over on Fana, able to do it with the stun. The arrow will fly forward. It controls at the fire ruling, but not long enough. Now they'll send Yapsor into Secret the air. Ace wants to help. Here comes Puppy charging forward. The perfect timing with the charge. Just as Pasha went back into his normal self. Solo will keep the run going too. Four heroes from Team Secret looking for that opportunity to kill off that Ogre if it's going to be possible. Underneath the tower, the lights away it will connect and the arrow and the charge with the shark room mid one will get himself a double kill so brew and ogre will end up falling smoking up with solo and no one they've come underneath that dire observer one so ace feels very safe First starting with the Ignite, they're gonna wait for the stun as he tipper chains up through no one. Puppy charging forward, Ramses, he does have swap available. Does he try and save? Does he try and kill? Right now it's just solo being lagooned down. Mid one once Good more. Stun. He's able to hit the live strike array, but where's your follow up? Team Secret really don't have that much of the tank. They're already starting to TP out with little movement over. Puppy wants to charge down. The assassination will connect. Ramsey's. All right. Well, swap now rather than later. Quelling Blade down the Observe Ward, and Puppy now starts his run. This won't be seen because that Observe Ward has been destroyed. And Team Secret on the charge. Mid one's got the high movement oh, speed Pasha. because he actually has the phase boots. Then again, he gets rooted up by the Ancients. That's not what <gasps> Mid one was really planning on, which means the split. It'll kick in. They have to shrine up quickly. Yapsos moving over. They're trying to help out. A nice light strike array is keeping Ramsey's out this fight for the Brulings. They keep the stuns going. They keep the burn up as well. Mid one, another stun. He's actually going to go down. The Ancients spoil his day. Pasha wants out this one. He can only clap once more before he'll end up dying. But Team Secret, the reinforcements have arrived. Ace, the multicast from Solo makes it a little bit difficult for him to get the double kill, but double kill nonetheless. And Fana mopping up Lil. So it all started with a bit of a problematic ancient interference, but now Team Secret are charging down the mid lane, looking for the fourth kill out of this fight. Fana gonna drain Ramsey's dry and pick up his own double kill for the fight. He stayed bottom and Secret capitalized to get four kills. They now have Moonlight Shadow available to maybe set up a fifth on bottom because no one will not expect this one. Even with Vision, he wouldn't have seen this coming. If there's a bash, he will die. Oh, it's Team Secret's got the Vision. He'll see if the was down. Ramsey's going to have to swap his teammate out, but it was already too late. 
Lacuna Blade from mid one was in range, so it'll connect. You grab a fly with the Nether Strike. The arrow flies forward from Yamsaw, soaked up by the Creep Wave, but they've got what they wanted. Both Ramses and No One pushing up the daisies. Puppy's TP out will be in time. Solo, leap in from Yamsaw. He needs that damage, and the slave from mid one will do it. A triple kill from Team Secret. Team Secret do have that advantage of the Dire Observer Ward, but they're seeing Ramsey's TPing oh, out. Farter initiated on. Support is there from Team Secret. Coming in through the north, but Farter is already dead. Ramsey's and Bruce split. Now on the hunt. Yapsaw puppy mid one. It cloned. is time to get the hell out of here. It looks like Yapsaw will not be so lucky. Lil's already starting his TP over towards the shrine. So they're going to bring in that extra slow, but where is the detection? The dust. That's what he brings as well. Yapsaw critted down by Pasha. Only one point in the brawl up, but he knows where to hit the punch. This extreme powerful. The Bloodstone is completed over from Ace. He would love to have a good fight, but they have the high ground vision. There she's trying back with Blind Primal Split. It'll come off, keeping the control onto Puppy. The lead from Yaps are trying to escape the move past that Nether Ward as Lil slowing down Ace, but they want the other target. They would like to kill off Yaps or assassination from no one. Able to do it exactly as we thought it was going to have happen. You got VP with the front liners allowing the quarterback a sniper just to hit every single shot. Without the contest. The silver lining for Secret is that the Bruce Blade was used for that fight, and that's why VP don't want to go high ground. Shadow, Shadow Blade. Blade. Uh, it's, not, it's not a lot to write home about. Nope. Oh, top lane. Yep, the initiation is out. Combining it up with the Wild Wing Tornado just for good measure. Ace. Gonna go in Viz. SB charging through. Invisible forces keep touching you at the moment. Ace able to actually chain himself away. Team Secret, they got more problems. It's mid one. Oh. oh no! The Bruling sent him up and towards the air at the same time the assassination was coming in. They'll still have the damage, mainly because everyone from Virtus Pro is there. A Team Secret losing that Lena. Uh, more popular right now, and it's it's given the hero a lot of new potential that it didn't used to have. Good juke from Solo there in the Chakram. He's I, still gonna get arrow. It, it, it almost felt like a bait, like he was leaving the Observable for somebody else to farm. He just sits there reeling. Puppy really didn't want to ult him. <laughs> That's Ogre. You know, is it worth it for me to use my ultimate on him? The timing that is, yeah, it's not even thinking. He just wants it against the Timber. They're, VP are a kill hungry team. If there's a hero they can't kill in the game, they get upset. And then they find out how to kill this guy. And it's like, okay, I'll buy Silver Edge, you buy damage items, no one, okay? Da, and then they go. That's that's how the fight's gonna oh, get. No oh, one gets the gonna charge. get the hell out of here. He does have the hurricane pike. Remember, he's still the as well. immortal. So BKB turns on, oh, and the trundle comes down. The damage on the puppy. They'll save him with the crepe five for the moment. He'll juke up and down. Puppy trying to keep the run going and charges himself away. Solo really back. Basha will clap him on the edge. Wave of Terror is up, realizes that all of Team Secret haven't come back, and Team Secret weren't really ready as well for Virtus Pro to come in. Arrow. The Catapult's still alive, they're keeping the Die One back, so the, cat the arrow will kill off the Radiant Catapult, but the Traitor still exists. The Tower is down to one-fifth of his normal life, and no one's keeping the Vision up on that high ground, so he can keep attacking it. He's got that long range, and they have to use Fortification for a Sniper. And he just shrapnels up again. He'll see it once again in Team Secret. You have to make a choice here. They have to kill the creep wave. That's too late. It's too close. No. Yep. No, he's going to get the tower for sure. Ace jumps out, looking for the opening right on top of Ramsey. Where is the support? Puppy, he's there by charging forward, but Ace is already down. The man stuns a huge, but no one. Got they just ogre. turn on the BKB. You killed an ogre. What would he do now? What would he do? A double stop oh, from mid will help, but he decrepified himself. Oh, amplifying the situation and damage. Team Secret now buying back onto Fada. Virtus Pro, 32 minutes in, will claim that mid melee ranks. They're looking for more, however, draining out Lil. The Kerber 5 worked beautiful. Mid one, however, no one. He does too much damage. He is the stronger one. Yapsaw, what do you do here, man? Like, okay, you, you just let it be. This is a big kill for uh, Secret to get. They have to get this kill now. They paid so much to not defend their barracks. They're charging. Cheech, Cheech. Ramses, Great what do Cheech. you do? He's got a sentry ward. You'll see Puppy quite clearly. Sentry ward from Puppy is there. Arrow flies <gasps> forward from Almost the app it. it won't hit the target. Solo's nearby. There is no swap. There is nothing. So Ramses will die. Secret gets something in return. And now do they just force down mid? You've got Nether Blast. 
you can do some significant damage. Oh, they're going to try to look for bonus kills. Ooh. Solo? That's well, a kill as well. Okay, we'll, we'll wait two minutes. This is how long it's going to take for Solo to die. Uh, yep, Sol. <laughs> okay, maybe not so. Not two minutes. No, nope, just still way too high, but there is a plate mail as well on. So, bit of potential. I still, I still think Secret's only play remaining in this game now is to get a fight in the Roche pit or right before Roche spawns. If there's another Aegis on this VP team, then he's probably Secret. Well, mid one, they wanted to lead him, and they will. TP was coming in from the Timber Salt. They wanted to make sure there was no, no reaction buyback. there. 71 seconds without a buyback. You're right. I st I'm, I'm still a bit worried for Secret if they try to push high ground here. I think, I understand if they want to try it and deal some damage, but there's there's so much defensive threat. There's a level 3 swap, there's a sniper with shrapnels. They may feel like they're just trying to force a buyback, though. Like, they don't know what we know, that the Brewmaster can't come back to life again. They, they, I like this choice of not going. You know, it's tempting, we kill the core, we're 5 and 4, let's go hit high ground, but... Yeah, t take a tier 2 town, maybe, like that, yeah. that should be achievable. The odds are stacked against them in a 5 on 4 in the enemy base. That's how rough this game is right now. Uh, do you like this build from Yapsol? He's uh, gone for a Dagon level 1. Um, I think they're just identifying that this lineup, uh, this game is getting out of control. And right now they have to just burst oh. heroes. Randy is done. It's out at the moment okay. onto Ace, but he's pretty damn tanky. And that, sh that Enchantress army not doing a lot. The tower, it will end up falling. Oh, actually not. Oh, the sniper. Oh, pulling it back in again. Well, no one. He will thank the rest of his team for tying down his prey. Only losing at most a tier two to hit the base from this angle. Yeah, so Team Secret have to come back to five. They have no other choice right now. Observe what is planted in preparation for the attack, but there's a gem of true sight in the hands of that Brewmaster, so they're gonna see it pretty early on. Got an arcane so in they well. come. Okay, well, sentry and sentry, that'll do the work. A deep ward from Solo. Aramzi's almost catching that arrow. Not gonna happen, however. Fada waiting in the trees. Needs to put down that nether ward just yet. Puppy charging forward. It'll create some space. Hunter has to fight back. He died so quickly. If you blinked, you missed it. No one waiting for heroes to hit the ground again, so now he can rip apart Ace. Putting that sniper to work. Assassination. No reactive arm will protect you from this. And this looks like it's going to be bottom lane of Rax Brewmaster. I mean, uh, Timbersaw going to buy back as the Brewmaster split's going to wear off. Even BKB to TP out. He has to stop the Lina as much as he can. Oh, they want never join. again? Was that a fake bait back as, uh, well, Pasha, he'll deal with mid one up on the top. He's almost claimed that melee Rax. In fact, he has a Pinella oh, Duzo in the crit with the clap. It'll find the kill onto Lina. Buyback is available, however, so Lina has to buy back now to actually keep some level of balance in this lane because they got the melee on top, they saw but Ace. they've lost their bottom. Ace needs to get out of here. Chain close by the arrow in case anyone from VP thought about going after it. But they didn't. They're backing up for the moment. Ooh, this is uh, an aggressive play. He oh, had the Arcane Rune on Pasha, remember? He's he will split again. Out. He's trying to get no one to kill himself. A quick charge forward. There was no way he was going to survive this. Yeah, this is going to be Megas. He has another Primal split. They're just going to go top. He will use the split. He will Cyclone the Lina and there is no possible way Ace can stop this push. They have to concede the Mega Creeps and more than likely the game. So that last age is just the nail in the coffin. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry team, I'll let you down. Yeah, this has been a rough game for Team Secret, GG. but there it is, GG Virtus Pro. Beautiful display of Dota from them. Team Secret. They were showing a bit of flair themselves. We saw that magical burst damage kick in around the mid game, but Lotus Pro, solid all round and no real answer to that sniper. I love their draft. I think this draft from Virtus Pro was extremely good. They are so good when they get their Enchantress early on. The whole way the composition came together, they had all of these buff ups for the sniper. You can tell that they're trying to make this one hero just the centerpiece of their lineup. Like they, their whole lineup was built to how can we make no one a god in this game? Venge Aura, the minus armor on the